Okay, so I make the occasional EDC videos uh, talking about what I carry and how I carry. I'm carrying my 43X. Um, it's equipped with a TRL-6 light and a Romeo Zero, Sig Romeo Zero um, red dot. Um, and a Pedix carry with a um, T-Rex Arms um, sidecar holster. So um, I show videos of me doing sub two second build drills ripping from the holster and six shots uh, on a zone in under two seconds and that's super cool i like showing those videos i like bragging that i can do that it's really cool to be super fast um but one of the things that i actually do is i come down here in my basement and i've got a big piece of oak set up down here and i do what are called cold drills and my cold drill is you know essentially what i'm wearing um jeans and boots and kind of my sometimes i'll have a jacket on a flannel whatever but uh, this is how i carry uh, my knife my flashlight pair of Ariat jeans. Um, this is how I'd be carrying if you saw me in public or, uh, or driving, whatever it is. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll do an actual EDC drill where I'll run my gun uh, at the speed that I would run it in a scenario that uh, uh, I actually needed to fire upon something. And when I do that, um, I don't actually go for max speed. I don't go for that super fast draw because you can miss your shirt, you can snag your shirt with a gun, a lot of things can happen. So when I actually run a true EDC drill, uh, in my mind, in the, in the, the wheelhouse that I live in, um, I run it about 80%. Um, when I'm on the range, I practice going fast and I practice going fast so I can make my 100% higher and higher and higher. Um, but in actual real life scenario, the wheelhouse that I live in is if something ever uh, occurred in my life that I need to draw my firearm, I move at 80%. And to me, 80% is where I can hopefully achieve 100% efficiency. Uh, I can get a good clean sweep in my shirt. I can get a good clean draw on my firearm, a good clean master grip press, um, and make good hits. So this is a cold drill. I haven't shot today. Um, so I'm going to shoot at seven yards, um, which is typically a little bit further than most uh, EDC uh, interactions. They're five to three yards. Um, I'm going to shoot at seven yards. I'm going to try to keep my group under three inches. Um, so I'm going to shoot fairly slow. I'm going to shoot three build drills, uh, which means I'll have to throw in a reload and a reload for my EDC configuration. Um, so let's see what it looks like. No timer, just going on the go. So try to watch if you can. I'm trying to shoot flat. I'm really putting pressure on my gun. I'm really focusing on my accuracy, getting a good press on the trigger, getting a good focus. Uh, on my dot and my uh, on my target, and I'm really trying to shoot the gun flat. These micro guns, uh, they're so small, uh, they have a lot more recoil than the bigger, like the uh, Glock 19, Glock 17, or Sig P320. Um, so you have to put a lot more emphasis on your grip, and like a lot more emphasis on your master grip. One of the reasons I run a slower grip um, is so when I when I get my press, I'm making sure I press out into my master grip. Um, if you try to run super fast, you can miss your grip, which is going to reduce accuracy. Uh, the braces, I'm dealing with a little uh, lateral epicondylitis strain. I strain the nerve in my arm, and it actually makes it hard to grip a gun. Uh, i got a competition coming up in two weeks, and I don't know if my arm is going to be healed. All right, so let's go for a second build drill, just what I consider EDC speed. 80% going for efficiency and accuracy, not the, not the hoorah, uh, you know, famous speed. Uh, a 15 round mag plus one of the pipes so I'm carrying 16 um, so after four shots I'm gonna have to reload uh, and I'm carrying a uh, EDC mag so let's see what happens let's do a build drill this is a slow build drill these are probably about three and a half to four seconds uh, versus my two seconds but let's see what it looks like uh, I'm just throwing an EDC reload Instead of driving it to the gun with my finger, I ended up feeding it to the gun like this. So I felt like that was really sloppy. Um, shooting a really good, consistent group here. Um, let me throw a couple more build drills in here and see if I can just show a really good, consistent group. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with, with how I'm shooting today. Cold hands. It's hurting my arm a little bit, but uh, let's see how it continues to look. Bit, 
fucking jerk. All right, one more. This will include another reload. Let's see if I can clean my reload up a little bit. Um, the tendency is to pull up and go straight for the mag. What you should do is pull your shirt up and clear your shirt and then go for the mag. Uh, it's a hard habit to break because when I train on the range, you know, my mags are exposed. Uh, so the EDC configuration is a little bit harder. So this, this, I'll show you my group here in a second. It's going to be embarrassing because I got this, this one stray scrag scraggler shot that, uh, uh, you know, I still would have popped the balloon, but, you know, I like to, I like to be max, max accuracy guy. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's see how we did. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba. So that was my first shot on the third drill bill. When I dropped bill drill, I dropped it out of the group. So uh, there's 24 rounds at seven yards. Um, so this is where I was shooting from. You can see my yucky basement. But uh, yeah, this is, is something I feel like is important to do. Um, you know, if I, if I rip out a bill drill and shoot super fast, I can still keep them inside of this, which is inside a zone, um, which people consider acceptable. It's acceptable in competition. Uh, your IDPA or IPSEC targets, your A zone's bigger than this, but I really like to, uh, I like to shoot those nice, nice, small, small groups, aim small, miss small. Um, I've never been able to break the mindset of that. Sometimes I do go blazing fast, but this is always my goal. All right. Thanks for tuning.